Hey guys, welcome to day 165 of my carnivore journey. Um, and we're going to talk about a couple things today. I think one thing's really important that I really want to talk about. We'll do the update. And then if you want to stick around, you know, I hope you do. You should. You should always stick around. But anyways, uh, update. So today I didn't really have a lunch. It was a really hectic day at work. I didn't get home till late. I was sort of implanted with the idea of... Uh, because I was talking to my, you know, you, you guys know I'm kind of separated from my wife, but I still talk. Like, we're still, we still talk, you know, and message probably every day. Um, but she said she was making stroganoff tonight, uh, beef stroganoff for dinner. So I was like, yeah, that sounds good. I'm going to do that too, except I'm going to do a carnivore version. So I made uh, beef stroganoff right here. Um it doesn't look fancy and I, I probably overcooked it at the end a little long because it was perfect looking like it looked really good, like a good stroganoff. But then as I let it sit there in the skillet and got my plate and got, you know, as I kind of got things ready to sit down and eat, um, it seemed like it separated a little more. Um, so my advice is if you make something like this, make sure you get it right where you need to have the heat off, you know, just, you, you, you know, you want to get it off there. Um, so it's kind of like my own weird version of stroganoff with the cream and the sour cream and stuff. I mean, I'm missing a few other things, <laughs> pasta as well. Um, and I made it with ground beef instead of, uh, you know, strips of steak or whatever. You can do that too. Like with, um, so that's what I for dinner. And I also went ahead and when I got done, I was, I felt like I, I wanted to have some bacon. So I had three pieces of bacon and I had a couple butter bites. So that was my dinner. Uh, that was my whole day, actually. <laughs> um, went poop just a little bit ago, right after dinner. Um, everything, you know, was okay. It was kind of semi. So uh, keep an eye on that. Maybe less fats. I don't know. But in any case, I'm I'm happy. Uh, today was just a, an overall crappy day at work, but I don't know, man, there's something about carnivore diet and, and a lot of things lately that's made me in a better mood. No, just to let you guys know, uh, Aaliyah, uh, she has a carnivore channel and, you know, she, she comments from time to time and you can find her link in the all carnivore under the carnivore YouTubers, uh, guys go give her some love. Uh, she's under the weather. We were supposed to do an interview, so she had to reschedule, so she's not feeling too good. So guys, if you want to send some prayers her way, but go give her some love, stop in, just tell her, hope she feels better. And, but we, we rescheduled. So we're going to be doing the interview. And then just as soon as she gets that posted, I'll of course share the links with you guys and, and I'm sure I'll talk about it. So, <laughs> uh, Okay. One thing I wanted to get to as well, I want to spend just a few minutes talking about a really important subject, and that is stress, okay? You know, like when you run into like different people in your life, and then they bring up a certain thing, and you say, man, this must be, this must be kind of common right now, because this is like the third person to say something about that. Well, that's what happened with the subject of stress. Um, it just seems like some people I've talked to, uh, people I ran into, and even customers I had were all sort of mentioning stress. You know, if you listen to some people in the carnivore circle, and again, I'm not throwing dirt. I'm not. I'm not going to name names. It doesn't matter. But I don't want I don't want you to have a picture like a, a perfect picture. Carnivore is great. There's no doubt about it. I love carnivore, but it's there's gonna be your ups and downs, and I don't mean a lot of down downs. Okay, so don't get me wrong. See, this is why I have to like double speak, right? What I mean is, some people are gonna paint a much rosier picture the whole time. And I get it because they want you to get on carnivore because ultimately you will have, you know, your days will be good and, you know, pretty solid. 
So I'm nitpicking if you really want to think about it. So, anyways, what I'm what I'm what I'm getting at is a lot of the you'll you'll get people that will say when they went carnivore, all their depression and anxiety, everything went away. So naturally, people may conclude that you you're not stressed or that you know stress isn't a thing. But what I want to tell you is you need stress, but don't overstress, right? We we don't want to overstress. Stressing definitely can cause medical issues. Now, I don't want to go by the current science that talks about stress and health. Stress can cause 90% of illnesses. Well, that's probably them deflecting sugar and carbs and all that other crap. But I will say stress, I'm sure, does cause illness. I think it does affect the human body. Again, can I trust the, the studies that's been done about stress right now? No. But I do believe that too much stress is going to cause your problems. You know, it's going to cause problems in your body. With that being said, carnivore has helped my depression immensely. Okay? It has. Depression for me has like would cripple me where I would just not want to do things around the house. I would put off projects like procrastinate. Um, I would just do those type of things. But since carnivore, I've actually, you know, will go around the house and I've been keeping up with the dishes and keeping up with the trash and, you know, folding things, wiping things down, going out, doing little projects, doing things that I would have normally put off. And I noticed that about me. And it's not just because I'm living by myself now. So don't think it's just that. But it, it does help. And it, and it helps for anxiety. It does help those things. But I want you to understand that sometimes you've got to relax. You've got to like simplify your life. Okay. Don't worry so much. Don't don't try to be a perfectionist in everything, especially with the carnivore diet. Keep it simple. Keep your life as, as simple. Keep it prioritized. For example, I'm the kind of person I work three jobs. Okay. And in between on my spare time, I'm doing multiple projects like designing a video game, uh, writing a, a script, uh, working on another book, uh, you know, working on film uh, projects, you know, outlines, storyboarding, a lot of things, okay? However, I got to a point where I said, you know what, I'm, I'm, I, I can't focus, I, I can't, I'm just stressed. And I simplified my life. In other words, all those extra projects, I just put on the back burner for now. There's no priority for them right now, to be honest with you. There's just no reason. Like, they're good projects. They're things I want to get done. But in all honesty, I don't need to, I don't need to do them right now. Right now, I just need to focus on my vlogs with you guys, the website, and my filming. You know, that's the major projects I need to, to focus on. And it's really helped a lot. And it just allows me to sort of calm down, focus, not stress as much. And then like an example too is, is sometimes you have to stop and smell the roses or even stop and, and sort of realize your position. So I was at work today. I had five jobs that I had to get to, okay? They were sort of spread out across a few counties, okay? So, you know, one of them took a half hour. Like the first job I was at to the second job was a 35-minute drive, okay? So my first job, okay, keep in mind, I start at 10.30 a.m., I'm normally done by my first job by maybe 11.30 at the latest or 12. 
Okay, if it kind of goes a little long. My next job started at 12. Okay. I did not leave my first job until 5 p.m. <laughs> okay. I was at my first job almost my entire shift. And I still end up having those four jobs. Now, one, one of those jobs got picked up by somebody. Thankfully, at least for that. I was mad, guys. My stress, I was mad. I, I felt like I wanted to go punch something. I was so damn mad. But then I thought about it. And I stopped and I said, you know what? It's my night off from my second job. So I don't have to stress about getting home in time to have time in between jobs. I've got the whole evening. And... The interview I was supposed to do with Aaliyah was rescheduled. So it's like, you know, when I started really thinking about everything, it was like, hey, and you know what? I'm making overtime, extra money. So it just calmed me down. And sometimes you just have to kind of step back and take a simple look. Now, life is not always that easy. I get it. And guys, I'm, and this is probably going to be longer than a 15-minute video tonight, but this, this stress topic is very important. Also, but stress is huge, right? Also, I want you to do something for me, okay? I want you to visualize out of your life, your bubble. Now, I'm not talking about if, you're, if your spouse or your kid goes out and leaves the house and does something and, you know, whatever. I'm talking about you, yourself, your life, okay? I want you to think about your life right now. Think about it. And I want you to think about how much of your life do you think is out of your control? Like, how much is out of your hands? You know, like, like 50% is like, you know, I mean, what percentage? I want you to think about how much of your life Maybe you think 90% of your life is out of your hands. I don't know. Um, but what do you think? Think about that percentage. I want you to think about it right now, please. Like just visualize, think about your life and think about how much of that can you actually control or is out of your hands? What's the ratio? So, all right. So if you got a percentage... I'm going to tell you out of, you know, like some studies and all that stuff, right? In your life, out of all the things that happen to a, a person in their daily life, all the, all the things that go on in your life, 90% is in your control. Only 10% of things that happen in your life are out of your control. Meaning if you drive down the road and the light turns red, okay, that's a fraction of your day, okay, a very small fraction, you can't control the lights, okay? Like I said, there's certain things, there is a few things, a few fractions of your life that are out of your control, okay? So I just, you know, life life is about it's not just about you know life is not necessarily out of your control a lot of people feel it's the other way around they they feel like oh my god life is consuming me like all this stuff and i just don't know what to do and it gets so overwhelming but in truth you ultimately have 90% control of your life you just have to decide how you want to take it right it's how you want it's how you handle it Right? So I really want you guys to think about this. This is really important. You know? And I hope this helps some of you out there because I know that, and I get the same way sometimes. I get caught up in life and doing this, doing that, and all this stuff, and everything just starts getting calm down. Take a breather and start to simplify and, and look at your life. And realize what's the most important things. What are your priorities, right? 
My priorities are always going to be my family, even though I'm, I may be divorcing, but my son trying to get to his tennis matches. And even with my ex, if you want to call her that, my wife still, uh, like I'm still trying to help her when I can, or you know what I mean? Like I, I care about her still as a friend, as an individual. So they're still going to have priorities in my life, you know? And my filming, because all my all my filming, all the all the stuff I enjoy doing, that's stuff that, like, when it comes to a business, and and that's what I ultimately want to do in life. So that needs to be my primary focus. The extra stuff, I don't need to worry about that right now. Let me focus on this other stuff. Calm my life down. Focus. Have a focused path. And then who knows, maybe when I get some extra time or when it, when the right time is, I can start working on those other projects again or one of them or whatever. But anyways, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about stress because, I, again, I've heard multiple people talk about it. And look, don't worry. I love telling people no worries, right? I picked it up from a lot of my Australian friends. I don't know where else you guys might use that a lot, but I always hear to heard a lot of my Australian friends like, no worries, mate. And I always like that saying, no worries. Yeah, don't worry about it. No worries. I tell people that all the time when they're like, oh, I forgot this or whatever. Like, and, and even Aaliyah, bless her heart, when she was sick and she was stressed about the interview, and I'm just like, no worries. We'll, we'll reschedule. Don't worry. Just Just focus on your health. You know, that's what it's all about, guys. You know, just don't stress about all the little things, right? Don't sweat the small stuff, as they say. Anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Day 166, tomorrow. Bye.